Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you this really awesome graffiti-inspired text right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So once you've got Adobe Photoshop open and you've got a brand new canvas created, we first want to begin by unlocking the background. Now we'll go to the gradient tool, and we'll change the color of this gradient. So we'll change the left color to a solid black, and we'll change the right color to a dark gray. Now we'll press OK on this menu. Press OK on the gradient editor, and then we'll change the gradient type to the second box on the top of Photoshop. Now selecting the middle of the canvas, we're just gonna draw a line out to one of the corners. And as you can see, that's gonna create this really awesome gradient effect. Now, once you're happy with that, we'll press the padlock on the background. We'll go to the T icon and we'll just type out a word. So I'm gonna type out the word awesome. And from here, we're just gonna hold Command and A and that's gonna select all of the text. We'll go into font and we'll change the font to something which is a little bit more graffiti inspired. So at the moment, I've got this really clean, really modern text, but we're gonna change this to something which is a little bit more graffiti-like. Now, once you've selected your text and you're happy with the look of that, we're just gonna center this up to the very middle of the canvas. And then we'll go over to the right of Photoshop, right click on that text layer and we'll go up to blending options. In blending options, we're gonna go down to gradient overlay. And as you can see, it's got this really cool gradient applied. Now you can use one of these presets if you like, but you can also customize the colors. So I'm gonna change the first color to pink and we'll change the second color to blue. And I think that looks really cool. Of course, if you want to favor one color, then all you have to do is pull this diagonal box over to the left or the right, and we can change the angle of the color by pulling on the angle just here. But once you're happy with that, we can move on to the next part. And this is where we're going to add a stroke to the text. So we go up to stroke, select this box, and as you can see, it's got this really over the top stroke. We're going to begin by creating a black stroke around this, and we'll change the size to around We'll change it to around 30 pixels. And then we'll go into color and we'll change the color of this to something other than black. We're gonna add a, another stroke. So we're gonna press the button with a plus in it and that's gonna add a new stroke and we're gonna change the color of this stroke to white. Now we'll increase the size of this to around, we'll go to around 20 pixels roughly. And then I'm gonna go back to the first stroke that we created and I'm just gonna change the color of this to black. Now in the blending options, we're gonna go up to bevel and emboss. We'll turn this layer on and we're gonna pull the depth all the way up. So we're gonna pull that all the way up to around 800. And in the style, we can change this to an outer bevel, inner bevel, emboss, pillow emboss, or stroke emboss. And we're gonna select stroke emboss, and then we can increase or decrease the size of this. So I'm gonna set that to around 10 pixels. And then once you're happy with the look of that, we can just press okay and exit the blending options menu. Now from here, we'll go over to the left side of Photoshop and we'll select the lasso tool. Now we're just gonna draw a circle mask around the top half of the awesome text. We'll go to the paintbrush tool, we'll change the size of the paintbrush, then we'll change the color from whatever it is to white. We'll go up to layer, new layer, so we'll create a brand new layer. And then with that layer selected, we're just gonna paint around the top half of that text. Make sure you only get the text though. Now we'll hold Command Shift. Now we'll hold Command D to deselect the mask and we'll reduce the opacity of that layer one. And now that text looks really awesome. So we can go ahead and we can add some graffiti effects to the background. So we'll go ahead and create a brand new layer. We'll go Layer, New Layer. Press OK on this menu. We'll go to the Paintbrush tool. 
go into the paintbrush style and settings up at the top. And if we go over to brushes and we scroll all the way down, we can see we've got all of these different presets. But I'm going to select Kyle's Spatter Brushes. We'll come out of that menu. We'll change the color of this to blue. And as you can see, if we just select the canvas a few times, we've got this really awesome paint splatter effect happening. Now, just to add some variation, I'm going to add some pink. So we're going to change the brush color. And we'll just do a few more dots on the canvas. And that looks really awesome. Now, we're going to add a little bit of glow to the text just to add some separation. So we'll select layer one. We'll go up to blending options. We'll go to drop shadow. And right inside of Drop Shadow, we're going to increase the distance. We're going to increase the spread, the size. We're going to change the color of this. So I'm going to select a nice aqua blue. And once you're happy with the look of this, you've now successfully completed this text effect right inside of Adobe Photoshop. And there you go. If you haven't already, then please do not forget to subscribe. I upload a brand new video every single day for you. So if you want to learn some awesome filmmaking and photography tips and tricks, then make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with everything that I upload. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.